been a while, but let's do a beer review. Tonight is Red Stripe from Jamaica. And I'll just read you what's on the back of the cool ass bomber bottle. And we have our special guest, the black cat. Since 1928, Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm, and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Brewed and bottled by Noise and Geddes Limited, Kingston, Jamaica, and it's imported through Red Stripe Company in White Plains, New York. And I believe uh, it's uh, a subsidiary of Heineken. So 4.7. ABV. I'm not sure what the IBUs are, but it's a pale lager. You can kind of see in the bottle it's very clear and thin, but cool ass bottle. That's probably uh, the best feature. I've never had a red stripe. I don't think I have. Maybe a long, long time ago. So we're uh, exploring uncharted territory. So let's open and see what we have. Hmm. Not a whole lot going on with the open, not a whole lot of smoke, not any smoke. So let's pour it and see. Very clear. Very clear. Nice thick head. But yeah, it almost looks like an old potion bottle, which is kind of cool. You don't see too many of these anymore. And just right off the bat, what do you, what do you think? It's got that Heineken smell. I mean, it almost... Now, I haven't drank a lot of Heineken in my life, but I did uh, on one, uh, one particular trip. That's pretty much all they had. So uh, you're getting that, yeah, that typical European, even though it's Jamaican, that European pale lager kind of skunky-ish smell. Oh yeah, I mean it screams Heineken to me. But not, not bad looking. Some, like I said, nice to the head. That's not dissipating too quickly. Nice amount of ascending bubbles. See a lot there on the bottom. Not too bad. Let's give it a taste. I was fearing that it would kind of taste skunky Heineken-ish, but no, mm, not at all. Uh, I'm picking up uh, kind of like a apple taste, like a little bit of a faint kind of apple taste to this. Very carbonated. Not a whole lot of uh, alcohol, not like that alcohol burn that you typically get in at cheaper beers, and this is pretty cheap. This would be perfect for, uh, you know, we're in the end of April, and the weather's uh, kind of been up and down lately, but um, this is perfect summer beer, perfect barbecue outdoor. If you went to a, a barbecue, uh, and your host had a case of these in the cooler. That's not too bad. So yeah, this is. I'm I'm actually surprised. I thought I thought this would be like just shwilly kind of drain cooler stuff, but nah. Now, an hour from now, this is the only one I have, so I'm not gonna drink. You know, I'm not drinking a bunch. Um, but I think this might be one of those uh, kind of lacing going on, sorta. Uh, it might be kind of the uh, 
what I call headache beer. Uh, Heineken's definitely is one of those where you drink a few and then an hour later you got a pretty raging headache. So uh, uh, we'll see, but yeah. After that initial apple, sort of slight apple taste, <coughs> um, I'm not getting much else. So it kind of runs flat after that. But uh, this is not terrible, not at all. Like I said, I thought I I thought it was going to be kind of bad, but uh, you know, is there such thing as bad beer? I don't know, is it like bad pizza. It's still pizza, so bad beer is still beer, right? So um, would I buy Red Stripe again? Yeah, I think I would. Something that you know, uh, after I cut the grass, boom, drink one down. So Red Stripe, not too bad. Uh, put on your Bob Marley tonight and uh, yeah, check it out.